so there are many different types of liver cysts, which I'll talk about a bit later on. But in terms of symptoms, most cysts do not cause any symptoms and they are usually found incidentally. So someone may have a scan to investigate abnormal liver tests or pain or something else and the cyst is found incidentally. Um, so most cysts are very small and are not significant and are found incidentally and don't cause any symptoms. Some cysts rarely may cause symptoms such as pain if they're large and, and causing stretch of the liver capsule. Um, and some cysts, if they are uh, uh, malignant or, or pressing on the bile duct, may cause uh, other symptoms such as weight loss and jaundice. But most cysts do not cause any symptoms. There are some cysts that are due to parasites so one might have symptoms of an infection. But uh, generally speaking, the vast majority of cysts are asymptomatic, which means they don't cause specific symptoms. So the main types of liver cysts are, number one, simple liver cysts. Uh, two, secondly, a condition called polycystic liver disease, where there's lots of cysts in the liver. Uh, a third type is colidocal cysts, which are cysts in the bile ducts, which are the tubes that carry bile in the liver. There's a network of bile. Um, and then there are hydatid cysts, which are uh, cysts of infection. So let me talk a little bit about, um, about those. So simple cysts um, are really just... Um, uh, a small area that it has effectively got some fluid in it. Um, it very rarely causes any symptoms and they can be a few millimetres to a few centimetres. They usually don't cause any symptoms, but they might if they're causing pressure on the surrounding organ or causing inflammation of the bile ducts. Um, they're not inherited simple cysts. Um, and probably between one and 3% of the population will have a simple cyst, uh, and it can occur at any age, um, but more frequently as people get older. Simple cysts have no symptoms, usually. Occasionally, if the cyst is very large, it might cause some dull ache. Uh, occasionally jaundice, but very, very rare. And to diagnose simple cysts, um, uh, it usually can be done on simple imaging with an ultrasound or CT or MRI. And simple cysts do not require any treatment. They do not lead to complications. They're not malignant. They don't turn into malignancy. And unless they're very large, causing pressure symptoms, which is rare, they don't usually need any specific treatment. Um, but they can be removed if they are very large or they, uh, the fluid from them can be removed. So that's simple cyst. Um, there is a condition called polycystic liver disease, uh, which is an inherited disorder where you have multiple cysts. You could have 10, 20, 30, 40 cysts in the liver. Um, and it's associated with um, something called congenital hepatic fibrosis. Um, which is can lead to scarring in the liver. And sometimes this is associated with cysts in the kidney, which is called polycystic kidney disease. And if you have both called polycystic liver and kidney disease. These cysts in polycystic liver disease can be very small, you know, a few millimeters the size of a pinhead, or they can be, you know, 10, 11 centimeters. Um, Polycystic liver disease is rare, less than 1% of the population have it. It tends to be commoner in women and first noticed during puberty, but most patients are diagnosed in their 40s and 50s. Again, these cysts rarely require treatment, but sometimes they can be de-roofed by surgery, so um, to reduce large uncomfortable cysts. Um, but usually they don't need any major intervention. But occasionally, if there's multiple, multiple large cysts that keep filling up and require multiple treatments, then 
surgery is needed, and maybe in very rare cases, even a liver transplant. And then the last uh, type of cyst I just want to talk about, well, there's two more. There, there's cysts involved in the bile ducts. So there's something called Caroli syndrome, which is um, cysts in the bile duct, which is potentially more serious because these this condition called Caroli syndrome, which is very rare, but these cysts in the bile duct can lead to cancer in the bile duct, something called cholangiocarcinoma. Um, and so patients who have this type of cyst, cystic disease, do require close monitoring. And then there is hydatid cysts, which is secondary to parasite infestation by a tapeworm. Uh, so a parasite or tapeworm called um, Echinococcus granulosus. And this parasite um, is very rare. It mainly, uh, it, the carrier is in dogs and can enter the body as larvae. And these hydatid cysts can become larger and larger and larger and can form a mass. Um, and they can cause damage to the liver and the organs um, and can cause severe liver disease. But this is quite a rare type of cyst, the hepatic cysts. Um, and they need treatment with drugs to treat the parasite, although surgery is also required in many cases. So they are the main type of cysts um, and their treatments. So a cyst in, in the liver can indicate a simple um, benign finding that has just developed during your development uh, as your liver grows. It could signify a, a infection, which is the hydatid cyst. Um, and it could signify um, just an incidental finding. Uh, it doesn't necessarily indicate malignancy, but there are some cysts that have malignant potential called cyst adenocarcinomas. Um, and usually to differentiate between serious and benign cysts, one does need um, some imaging. The vast majority of cysts are benign and harmless and indicate nothing really other than an incidental finding. But some cysts are more serious, as I've outlined, some are potentially malignant. So a cyst, uh, one of these cysts can indicate something serious. And so cysts do need to be evaluated with imaging and usually with ultrasound or CT or MRI um, and an assessment by a specialist. Um, cysts can be uh, determined as to whether they are simple, harmless, or potentially more serious. No, I don't think there's any evidence that stress or alcohol can cause a liver cyst. Um, some cysts are caused by parasite infection, the hydatid cyst, as I've explained earlier. Um, other cysts um, just can develop as a congenital malformation. So just as your liver is developing, people can be born with various um, anatomical um, differences and sometimes it happens like that and and often cysts arise we, we don't know why they why they arose and there are some genetic causes such as I explained about the the polycystic uh, liver disease so uh, usually they are um, uh, random effects of your liver developing sometimes they uh, they can be an inherited disorder sometimes they can be infected but stress or alcohol not particularly known to cause cysts. So treatment is not usually necessary for simple small cysts that are found incidentally and that are not causing any symptoms. No treatment is required and that is the vast majority of cysts. Um, cysts that have a um, malignant potential do require treatment um, and need, may need to be removed. Cysts that are very large causing symptoms such as pain because they're so large and they're pressing on the stretching the liver or pressing on adjacent organs, they may require um, uh, treatment and that treatment would be uh, fluid being drained out of the cyst or surgical de-roofing as it's called um, to drain the cyst of fluid. Uh, 
Um, not as far as I know, we are not aware of, well, again, it depends on the type of cyst, but generally speaking, though, there isn't a, uh, there aren't known medications uh, or alternative remedies as far as we know uh, that in terms of a medicine that you can take that will shrink the cysts. Um, in terms of hydatid cysts that are secondary to parasites, one does need to take drugs to kill the parasite to make that cyst inactive. Um, but there are um, th there are some people have tried some medications to try and reduce the size of cysts. But if someone has really really large cysts, there there are some medications actually that might reduce the size. But when you stop the medication, the the, the cysts usually regrow again. So we don't really have a very effective drug treatment for cysts. But the vast majority of cysts don't require any treatment and are not troublesome or worrying at all.